Hello and welcome to Veda Day 25. Today I'm going to do a tag response. Back on day 10, I did the My First Time tag and I tagged Jackie from Enjoying Life's Journey and she's going to be doing the My First Time tag today. So I will link her channel below and you can check it out. But back on the 10th, she tagged me in the Supermom tag. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And of course with any tag video, I tag all of you. If anyone else would like to do this tag, please go ahead and do it on your channel, but be sure to leave a comment and let me know the link so I can go watch your tag. All right, so here is the super mom tag. The first question is, how many kids do you have and ages? I have two boys, Caleb is three and a half, and Brayden is almost 19 months. Question number two, do you feel like you have it all together every day? Uh, that's cleaning, laundry, beauty, etc. And the answer is absolutely no, I do not. <laughs> Um, there are some days when I do better than others for whatever reason. My schedule is kind of all over the place, uh, which is how I like it, uh, but that does kind of impede my feelings of having everything in perfect order. But I also know that in this stage of life with two little kids, perfect order is going to look different now than it will in a year, five years, ten years, and down the road. Number three, when do you make time to shower, day or night? I shower at night. I don't understand why more people don't because I always hear of moms going days without taking a shower. Seriously, just do it at night after everyone has gone to bed or at least after the kids go to bed. I usually take a shower, as you know, I'm a night person. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm a major night owl, but the kids go to bed and then I clean up dinner and I get all of that stuff taken care of. And the shower is typically the last thing I do before I go to bed because I do like to have that to kind of calm me down after I have um, done everything else and I'm ready for bed. Every now and then I'll shower in the morning, kind of depends on what's going on, but 99% of the time I will shower at night. Question number four, do you wear makeup every day? And the answer is yes. I know it's not required of me. I don't go to a job. Um, I don't even leave the house every day, but I'm one of those people I have to have some makeup on. I have to have something done with my hair every day uh, just, to, just to feel good. It's... It's not really a beauty thing, it's just the feeling of being put together. I will accomplish so much more if I get dressed, um, at least comfortable, I don't have to look awesome, <laughs> but if I get dressed and get hair and makeup done, I do feel so much better, so much more confident, and, and also, if I wanna film the video in the middle of the day, I don't have to start this whole beauty routine. <laughs> Question number five, do you style your hair every day or do you ponytail it? Um, my style is ponytail. <laughs> I do it down usually like this for videos just because it looks better because my ponytail is like a little thing like this. And uh, yeah, so usually in my videos you'll see me like this unless I'm doing a day in the life and I usually have a ponytail in my hair sometimes with a headband type of thing. Question number six, when do you find time to do your hair and makeup? I usually do that between the time when Caleb wakes up and Brayden wakes up. Now this is on a regular morning. If we have somewhere to go first thing in the morning, you know, like eight something, nine something in the morning, I'll probably get up before the kids. Um, but usually on a regular day, uh, when Caleb gets up, he comes to my room and that's when I get up and get going, whether that's uh, 6 a.m., 7, 8, 9, 10, <laughs> whatever. And so Caleb comes in and we hang out a little bit. Sometimes we snuggle and watch TV. And then before Brain wakes up, I usually go into uh, our bathroom and get myself put together. Now, sometimes that doesn't happen until after Brayden gets up. And that's when I do a super duper fast hair and makeup. <laughs> and yeah, maybe I should do a video on that sometime, maybe. But when the boys go in our room, there are plenty of toys and books for them to play with. Our bedroom is right off the playroom, so sometimes they play in there. Sometimes I'll have PBS Kids going on the TV so they can watch that while I get ready. Um, but Brayden, a lot of times, he's our engineer. He's our thinker, and he likes to just 
push buttons. He likes to play with things and tinker with things. And so usually when he's in the room, I have to go to my nightstand and I take off the baby monitor, remove my drink. I have to take my essential oil bottles out of the drawer and just put them in the middle of the bed so he can't reach them because he'll open up and he wants to go through everything. So yeah, Caleb doesn't really get into my stuff anymore. Question number seven, do you work out and when? The answer is yes, uh, I do work out. I don't work out as regularly as I would like, but I always, always, always do it before, I'm sorry, after the kids go to bed. Like they go to bed, I clean up the kitchen, get all of the, the kitchen, sometimes pick up the toys, and then I go work out and uh, of course shower after that. There is absolutely no way I can get it done with both the boys up. With Caleb, if, if I just have Caleb, absolutely I can work out when he's uh, kept busy with Play-Doh or coloring or something like that for the 20 to 30 minutes that I need. Um, however, now that it's getting a lot warmer out, several times we've already gone out and taken a walk or uh, go out to our local outdoor mall here and go walk around there. And that is absolutely a workout because I push Caleb in the stroller and I wear Brayden in the baby carrier, either on my front or my back. Question number eight, what is your household cleaning routine and do you clean every day? I usually clean something every day. I don't have one of those awesome cleaning routines like Mondays I do floors, Tuesday I do toilets or whatever. I would love to be able to follow something like that but that is completely unreasonable for me right now. Maybe for other people, but not me. I printed out those schedules so many times and I just can't stick with it. And to be honest, it's not that important for me to stick with that. Um, about six months ago, I started with this thing called DOT, do one thing. And I try to put down on a list or on a calendar or something every day, I need to do one good thing. Whether that's one load of laundry or three loads of laundry, but just focus on one thing, whether that's vacuuming the downstairs or cleaning out a closet. Because if I do that one thing, I feel really accomplished. Now, if I do two things or three things or five things that day, awesome, but I don't, I don't require myself to do that. There are just too many inconsistencies with my kids' ages that I can't really keep up with a cleaning schedule. And plus our home is over 3,500 square feet, including the basement, which I don't really go down there very much. It's really big. It is impossible for me to do floors all in one day. That I mean, sometimes it takes me hours just to pick up the junk off of the floors and it's just not reasonable for me to do that. Question number nine, do you ever get overwhelmed with all the responsibilities as a mom? Yes, I do, often. <laughs> but I do try to go back to that do one thing. If I do that one good thing today, if I accomplish one thing, and also the do one thing is not necessarily just household stuff. If there's something I wanna do with the boys, like have a picnic, if it rains or if it's too cold, sometimes we do a picnic in the back seat of the van <laughs> or in like the back part of the van, like the storage area. We'll do a picnic back there. Just do one good thing a day. And if I have time for two or more, then go for it. And number 10, how often do you have alone slash me time? How do you relax? Um, I probably have a really my only alone time now that I think about it. Besides work here in my office, which is a great me time, but it's not like relaxation, take a bath, read a book, you know, any of that. If you have seen my me time tag, that gives you a little bit more details there, but I end up staying up really late every night and that's what I'm willing to do to get some of that quiet time. Um, I, I sometimes watch, actually I don't really watch YouTube videos in my alone time now that I think about it, sometimes, but um, I will stay up late to fold laundry or you know do housework. It doesn't really even matter what it is as long as it's just quiet and it's just me. Now sometimes on like a Saturday or in, in an evening when I'm not working, Mike will take the boys out to the park or to go visit grandma and grandpa or go to, they go, like to go to the pet store to look at, at animals and fish. Um, that kind of thing. And they have a, a lot more fun. I know they have a lot more fun with Mike than they do with me. But yeah, sometimes he'll take them out so that I can get some things done. A lot of times it's not the time that I spend taking a bath or doing that relaxation. It's just having that alone time, which to me is, is the most important thing. Um, I do like to take baths with my Lush bath bombs. And 
I do that once every couple of weeks, um, maybe three, four times a month. And I really do enjoy that time. That's when I literally get nothing done. It's just relaxing. So I hope you enjoyed the super mom tag. This was fun to talk about. Um, I, I do feel sometimes, especially after some days, that I am a super mom. And then some days I feel like I am the biggest failure in the world, but welcome to life, right? If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see all of my VEDA videos this month. And don't forget to check out Jackie's channel, which I have linked below. Her channel is called Enjoying Life's Journey. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.